I had several extra red beads from another fly pattern and decided to try this beaded blood midge. For hooks, I used a size 18 emerger, but 20 would work as well. For weight, I used 3 30 seconds tungsten black beads. The glass beads are from my local craft store, size 11 in red. For the thorax, I used peacock ice dubbing and mixed in a little bit of red dubbing. And I used red thread. Start by melting the end of a 10 to 15 pound spare piece of monofilament. Be careful not to actually light it on fire and burn it all the way to your thumb. It needs to be big enough to hold on the beads though. Poking the monofilament into the beads as they laid on my tying vise seemed to be the easiest way. I suppose you could also put them in your hand and install them that way. Seven appears to be a good number for a size 18. Offer the thread to your hook just behind the bead. Wrap back a few times enough to catch that tag and snip it off. Now take your bead strand, tie it to the top of the hook towards yourself as thread torque will push it around to the other side as you can see here. Try your best to keep it on top, keep the wraps loose at first. Tighten up as you go. Now cinch up on the monofilament to pull the beads tight to the back of the thread. At this point, take a few more tight wraps on top, a few underneath, one more on top. Cinch up as much as you can. Now cut the monofilament just on top of the bead with a sharper pair of scissors than I have here. Use your trusty lighter to melt that side of the mono down back to just behind the bead to create another nice anchor ball. Take a few more securing wraps behind the ball to really lock it in. Create a very small dubbing noodle with your dubbing of choice. Now wrap your dubbing around to make a nice tight little thorax. Now whip finish your fly. At this point you can trim off any of the crazy fibers that maybe stick out a little too far and shrink it down if you need to. And there you have it, the beaded blood midge. And as you can see here, it does work.